Jehim, I'm Lieutenant Commander Inder Singh, Commander of the Indian Naval Ship INS Rajpur. I was born on October 4, 1924, at the Anvali village in present-day Sonipat, district of Haryana. I had started my career in defense due to a zeal in my heart and also because I was inspired by my father. But my real story starts off in the early 1970s when our crew successfully destroyed Pakistan's dream of destroying our aircraft carrier, INS Vikran. It is believed the greatest enemy of an aircraft carrier is a submarine. Hence, the Pakistan Army sent their one and only submarine to stalk INS Vikran and find their opportunity to put it out of action. Ghazi left Karachi on the 14th of November 1971 and came over to the Bay of Bengal. I was made aware of this danger and knew that INS Vikran must at once be out of the harm's way. This case was shrouded in secrecy since Pakistan hadn't declared a war on us, neither us on them. It was done in secret. The whole thing was, if they got INS Vikran, then to them it was the end of the war. It didn't matter. Our pride would be shattered, which was what their main aim was. Therefore, after a lot of planning, we came up with the idea, which was very risky. My first priority was to send INS Vikrant away from our Eastern Naval Commander at Vishakha Patnam to Port Blair's coast. But we were all well aware that ISI would not be late to catch this. To set no trails behind us, we changed all the details of my ship to that of the aircraft carrier and turned INS Rajput into a bait for PNS Ghazi. Fortunately, our plan to trick Pakistan was successful since their attack wouldn't be reported as they wished to destroy our ship. They led three underwater mines in the usual patrolling areas of INS Vikran. We went on the normal patrolling as INS Vikran, being aware of the mines laid down by PNS Ghazi. I was ordered not to sail ahead since our intelligence suspected the PNS Ghazi to be in those waters. But I ordered one of my crewmates to start producing the echoes and sailed into the forbidden waters, after which PNS Ghazi's crew members became aware of us knowing about their presence in our waters. Driven by the fear to get destroyed, in a hurry, the PNS Ghazi accidentally came over one of their own self-laid mines and was destroyed. There are a lot of untold events during this attack which still remain to be hidden. The truth about the Ghazi, which remains on the submarine community, the eternal parole, lies somewhere between the Indian and Pakistani versions of the sinking, but no one knows where it exactly is. After successfully accomplishing our task, I was awarded the Veer Chakra for my spot decision, gallant action and bravery of a high order in the face of the enemy. My wish for all the Indians is to always be prepared for the service of the nation. Jai Hind.